hard to notice, but we spend each moment in our lives along with big data. To essay writer Chong Semi, big data is a new code of our everyday life. This application tells me what kind of information I need to know about. To three-year expat Aaron, big data is a new key word for understanding life in Korea. It's really nice to travel around with the app. It tells us where to go. It tells us information about. Korea is becoming a happier place through big data. This shopping mall is a hot spot among young people these days. Sammy comes here to learn about the latest trends, including the dynamic and fast-paced big data as a writer. It's a perfect way for her to receive useful information. There are too many cosmetic products out there and it's hard to choose what kind of products that fit me. So through this application, uh, it gives me the right kind of products that fit my skin condition perfectly. Just by entering her basic personal information, she can receive personalized product recommendations through big data. A meticulous person, Semi, goes a step further to check if certain products contain harmful substances by tapping the screen a few times. It's important to know what kind of ingredients are used in the products. So this application tells me what kind of information I need to know about the exact product that I'm going to be choosing. Information people used to find out by asking others can now be received on a larger scale in a more accurate way thanks to big data. He believes that big data helps people make wiser choices in terms of what they want to eat, drink, and enjoy. The result of a small amount of big data is quite successful. Sammy writes down her day and checks out what others do with a cup of tea. These small actions serve as material for big data. Every minute, about 100,000 tweets and 2 million emails are exchanged. That's an enormous amount of information. Filtering out useful information is not easy, but this problem can be solved with the help of big data. I usually find something that I like to read and I start reading it and then on the other side it just gives me a list of things that might interest me and then in that way I don't even need to search for things. This place turns impersonal big data into more emotionally appealing information for customers to maximize their convenience. Such efforts have spread to the public sector as well. A website provided by the Seoul Metropolitan Government allows users to view government policies by searching keywords. Anyone who wants to try using big data firsthand can have access to about 4,500 kinds of public big data. Big data comes in handy even when traveling. So where are we going today? So I was doing some research and I found a place with a lot of history. We followed Aaron on his trip to a destination that he found on the internet. It's none other than Cheonju. According to a big data analysis, the Hanok village located in Cheonju has topped the ranks among all Hanok villages in Korea. Thanks to a smartphone application offering explanations about Korean cultural heritage, Aaron can tour Cheonju on his own and even find directions.
they easily find the place they've been looking for. They want to find out more about this Western-style cathedral that is part of Korea's cultural heritage. I wonder how long it took to build. Probably a while. Yeah. I think it will come out in the app. This cathedral building is located outside the Punnamu Gate, which was a place of execution for Catholic martyrs. It was designed and built by Fr. Victor Poisnel from France. How was Aaron's trip that was led to the help of Big Data? Yeah, it's really nice to be walking around Jeonju and to see historical sites like this cathedral. And it's really helpful that we have the app that tells us exactly where to go and then also tells us information about the buildings and where we're at. Definitely want to use the app more and travel around more. Now I feel like I can even go to Seoul and use the app maybe to see more historical sites there. Big data has become part of people's daily lives thanks to the government 3.0 policy. Since 2013, the amount of disclosed public data has tripled from just 4,718 cases. 정부 3.0을 통해 개방된 데이터는 민간과 공공에서 같이 활용된다는 측면이 가장 크다고 할수 있습니다. CCTV 사각지대 분석이라든지 교통 약자 분석이라든지 이런 부분을 통해서 대국민 서비스를 지금 향상시키고 있고요. Dusk falls on the city. The two travelers return from their trip. But there's a problem. Really? It's dark outside, and they don't know where to go. Aaron takes out his phone to report his friend's missing phone through the internet. It's already late. The line at the taxi stand appears endless, and they have missed the last bus. Aaron takes out his phone yet again to find out information about the so-called owl buses. Owl buses are operated in Seoul during nighttime. Their routes are determined by big data that analyzes the use of mobile phones and taxis by passengers. Aaron sends his friend away on an owl bus. The world created by big data. This may sound like a story about digits. But in fact, it's a warm story about people using big data to improve their quality of living and contribute information for a better future.